Only a few names have shone as bright as the radiant and captivating Audrey Hepburn in Hollywood history. The legendary actress, humanitarian and style icon, enchanted the world with her timeless beauty, grace and heroism. But amidst all that, life dealt her a series of tragic blows that ultimately led to her death. From a childhood plagued with starvation and constant encounter with near death, to an adulthood marked by severe heartbreaks and tragic death to cancer. This is the untold, shocking story of Audrey Hepburn. Born on May 4, 1929 in Brussels, Belgium, Audrey Hepburn was the daughter of a Dutch aristocrat and an English baroness. Her parents' marriage was short-lived and they divorced when Audrey was just six years old. The split shattered Audrey's world and she struggled to cope with the emotional turmoil and uncertainty that followed. As a child, Audrey was an introverted and sensitive soul with a vivid imagination and a passion for dance and music. She adored her father, a distant and elusive figure who left her feeling abandoned and lonely. Audrey's early years were marked by displacement and upheaval. Her family moved frequently and she attended several schools in England, Belgium and the Netherlands. Her education was disrupted by World War II, which erupted when Audrey was just 10 years old. But she would end up being the unsung hero of the war. Operation Market Garden was a name that evokes images of heroic gallantry in the face of insurmountable odds. It was a daring invasion of the Netherlands by Allied forces during the Second World War intended to strike a fatal blow against the Nazi war machine. However, as history has shown, the mission ultimately ended in disaster, leaving brave British paratroopers stranded and fighting for their lives in the heart of Arnhem. Yet amidst the chaos and devastation, there were tales of courage and hope that have endured to this day. One such story is that of a young Audrey Hepburn, then just a teenager, who played a crucial role in the Allied effort. For a week, she and her family risked their lives by hiding a Red Devil, one of the British paratroopers, in their basement. It was a dangerous and selfless act, one that spoke to the unbreakable spirit of those who fought against tyranny and oppression. But Hepburn's heroism did not end there. Throughout the war, she and her family endured unimaginable hardships as they lived under Nazi occupation. They faced constant danger and uncertainty, never knowing when they might be discovered or worse, become victims of the bombs that rained down on their village. It was during these dark days that Hepburn even showed more of her heroism. Though she was just a teenager at the time, she volunteered for the Dutch Resistance, an underground organization dedicated to fighting the Nazis and helping those who were in need. Hepburn risked her life to transport messages and supplies, and she even worked as a nurse, tending to wounded soldiers and civilians. Hepburn's work with the resistance was dangerous and grueling, but it was also deeply rewarding. She saw firsthand the impact that even small acts of kindness could have on those who were suffering, and she was inspired by the resilience and the courage of her fellow resistance fighters. Her work with the resistance wasn't the end of her heroism either. In fact, it was just the beginning. Hepburn and her family were in a particularly perilous situation. They were trapped in the town of Arnhem, which had become a key battleground in the fight for control of the Netherlands. With no food, water or electricity, they endured unimaginable hardship and uncertainty, never knowing if they would survive. Audrey witnessed the horrors of war, including food shortages, bombings and executions. She saw some family members suffer and die, and she herself nearly starved to death. Her experiences during the war left an indelible mark on her, shaping her values, beliefs and world view. She became deeply committed to humanitarian causes, particularly those involving children and refugees. She also developed a lifelong appreciation for simplicity, kindness and generosity, which manifested in her personal style, mannerisms and interactions with others. After the war ended, Audrey enrolled in a ballet school, hoping to pursue her dream of becoming a professional dancer. 
She landed a few small roles in British films and television shows, but her big break came when she was cast as the lead in the Broadway play Gigi in 1951. Audrey's performance in Gigi catapulted her to stardom and earned her a Tony Award. Hollywood took notice and she was soon offered the role of the princess in the romantic comedy Roman Holiday in 1953 opposite Gregory Peck. The film was a critical and commercial success and Audrey's luminous performance won her an Academy Award for Best Actress. From there, Audrey went on to star in a string of iconic films including Sabrina in 1954, Funny Face 1957, and breakfast at Tiffany's in 1961. Her beauty, elegance and charm captivated audiences worldwide and she became a symbol of feminine grace and sophistication. But Audrey's legacy extends far beyond her acting career. She was also a devoted humanitarian, serving as a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF and advocating for children's rights and welfare. But then her tragedy trailed her into her relationships where she would go on to suffer more blows. Audrey Hepburn had not one but two great romances that captured the hearts of many. One of these was with the charming actor and director Mel Ferrer, who swept her off her feet despite their apparent odd match. It was at a party for the British opening of Roman Holiday that Hepburn and Ferrer first met. And although they may have seemed like an unlikely pair, they quickly developed the fondness for one another. And when they starred together in the Broadway play On Dean the following year, their romance bloomed. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, she and Ferrer were falling even deeper in love. By the end of the year, Hepburn had become a married woman, exchanging vows with Ferrer in a private wedding in Switzerland, far from the public eye. It was a match made in heaven and their happiness was evidence to all who knew them. As they acted together again in the film adaptation of Leo Tolstoy's War and Peace, it was clear that Hepburn and Ferrer's love had only grown stronger. But even though they were in the spotlight, she remained hesitant about press involvement, wanting to keep their romance private and sacred. Hepburn's longing to start a family was met with both joy and heartbreak. In 1955, she experienced the devastating loss of her first child to a miscarriage, a tragedy that would unfortunately become all too familiar to her. Despite the pain, Hepburn remained optimistic and hopeful for the future. However, fate had other plans, and in 1959, she suffered another loss, purportedly due to a fall from a horse during the filming of The Unforgiven. But amidst the heartbreak, There was a glimmer of joy. Hepburn and her husband Mel Ferrer welcomed their first and only child, Sean Hepburn Ferrer, into the world in 1960. In an effort to ensure her unborn son's safety, Hepburn took a year off work while pregnant. Two more miscarriages would follow in 1965 and 1967. Sean's birth should have been a joyous occasion, cementing Hepburn and Ferrer's status as Hollywood's golden couple. However, behind closed doors, their marriage was anything but perfect. Ferrer's jealousy and controlling nature often caused turmoil, leading Hepburn's own mother to describe him as a frog-faced delinquent with spindly legs in a letter. Hepburn herself admitted to having affairs with co-star William Holden and screenwriter Robert Anderson, while Ferrer was also unfaithful. Despite their marital struggles, Hepburn remained committed to her family and was hesitant to end the relationship, especially for the sake of her son. As a child of divorce herself, she didn't want Sean to experience the same pain she had. However, by the late 1960s, even Hepburn couldn't ignore that their 14-year-old romance had run its course. In November 1968, the couple announced their divorce. Though Hepburn would eventually find love again, it would be over a decade before her other great love would arrive. Her second romance was a surprising plot twist. It was the 1980s, and she was introduced to the dashing widower Robert Walters through a mutual friend. At the time, Hepburn was still married to her second husband, but fate had other plans in store for her heart. Walders, a Dutch businessman and a television actor, was hesitant when he asked Hepburn out on a date. She initially turned him down, citing a night shoot, but the very next day she asked him out for a drink, which turned into an unforgettable dinner. 
Soon after, the two were spending hours on the phone, deep in conversation and discovering newfound love. At the time in our lives that we met, we had both made our mistakes, Walter told People magazine in 2017. If chance would have it that we would have met at an earlier stage, we might not have had the discoveries together that we did have and found those things in life together that were valuable to us at a later point in life when we were both more mature. At the time, Heben was still married to Italian psychiatrist Andrea Dotti, whom she had met in 1968 and wed the following year. They also had a child together, Luca. Despite her marriage being effectively over, Heppen wanted to prepare her husband and their child, Luca, for the news of her new love. According to Walders, Dotty took the news well, even complimenting her by saying, You look very beautiful, you must be in love. And indeed, she was. For more than a decade, Heppen and Walders made a life together, juggling their careers and their romance. They never tied the knot, but Hepburn viewed herself and Walders as a married couple, often introducing him as my husband Rob to friends and family. They were happy in their own way, and that was all that mattered. Their love story ended tragically in 1993 when Hepburn lost her battle with a rare form of abdominal cancer. But their love, like the actress herself, will always be remembered as a thing of beauty that brightened up the world. Audrey Hepburn's death is a tragedy that reverberates across time, a loss that leaves a profound and lasting impact on the world of cinema and beyond. It was the culmination of a life that was filled with both joy and pain, triumph and heartache, but one that left an indelible mark on the world and the people who knew her. But even in death, Hepburn's legacy lives on, and to this day she remains one of the most beloved and influential actresses of all time, a symbol of grace, strength and compassion in a world that often seems dark and tumultuous, inspiring generations of artists, activists and everyday people to strive for beauty, kindness and justice in the world. If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.